It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1801, recorded Thursday, October 15th, 2020. A very light show. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have a gadget from the National Hardware Show. Dickie D also has a medical gadget, and I have another spooky gadget for your Halloween decorations, plus your videos all next on the Gizwiz! It's the same little show with Dickie D. And OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is. The name of that guy that drinks all the wine and gives it to the fancy, uh, but for gadgets, Dickie D. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? What do they call those? The mon- the mis- mis- Oh, oh uh, 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 somnier or? Mo- yeah, that. Something like but that. But f- for gadgets. Yeah, that it's, guy, that guy. That guy. <laughs> but for gadgets. Head waiter. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, I am doing fine, and you, sir? Doing good. Doing good myself. Yeah. Excellent. It's fall. It's fall. Uh, the uh, fall I is do not like fall. Here. Yeah, I know. You don't like the I, fall. I am not crazy about the fall. Because it means darkness. Mm-hmm. And uh, our local weather guy said, uh, sunset tonight is, I forgot what he said. He said, but on November 1st, sunset in New York City will be 4.59 p.m. And I think, <laughs> why did you tell me that? <laughs> uh, Ugh. Yeah. I know. <sighs> more lights. I just have to put up more lights, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That's so, it's, it's kind of amazing. I kind of forget that we're like on a planet that has, you know, different, <laughs> cause like right now, is it dark for you right now? I guess it, you're also an oh hour earlier. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, no, see it it's dark. 6.30 right now and it's not like sunset time in Texas. Oh, yeah, no, you, yeah, you're lucky. No, sun, uh, we took Charlie out at 20 to seven and it was dark. Ugh. And that's before daylight savings time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, I guess we should also mention our big event Sunday. Yes. We uh, we had a test call, me and Dickie D, preparing for the virtual meetup. So here's how it's going to work for those who want to participate. Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern time, head to gizwiz.tv like you would if you were going to watch the live stream. I'm also going to live stream it. And so uh, we'll probably actually go live right before we open up the link to, ev- to everybody to join. And um, maybe we'll say a few words and then I will update the website with a Zoom link. And you'll be able to click on that link and if you have Zoom downloaded or if you don't, you'll be able to join in and talk with me and Dickie D if you want to. If you don't wanna show your face or talk or anything, you can always just watch the live stream um, or you could, you know, I, I will post a live stream on the, uh, YouTube channel after the fact too. Um, but that is how you will join virtually is with that, uh, link. So if you head to gizzes.tv and the link isn't there, it's probably cause we're not streaming yet and we're not ready. Uh, and then we'll update it, uh, pretty quickly and, and you guys can, can join in and it'll last for about an hour on, uh, on Sunday. Perfect, perfect. We've yeah. a little match game. We have a few yeah. clips from old uh, meetups and a little tour of Disneyland for people who never came here. Yeah. So it'll be fun. It'll, it'll be, be fun. fun. It'll be yeah. awesome. Uh, also, it was uh, this week Prime Day, Amazon's almost like a Black Friday event. That yeah. It's like I, Cyber Monday wasn't enough, so right. they had Prime Day. Prime Day. And I, Prime Day, I didn't see anything I liked. Me neither. It, it seemed like, it seemed like the discounts weren't gigantic. Uh, maybe the, if you bought something huge. Exactly. That's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. Is I saw a camera that I really liked that was like 150 bucks off, but that still meant that it was $500. So I wasn't, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't yeah. about to get but it. I, I lucked in because two days before Prime Day, they had a special, I'm going to do a little bit on this next week. 
the the uh, why the, oh, the uh, wise oh the oh yeah, the, the why things yeah yeah the the wise band yeah and it, it's thirty dollars okay yeah. and the opening day they said buy it and you will automatically get a ten dollar credit for anything you buy on Prime Day oh. so there was a set of four hundred LEDs oh with t- less price $30. And that was the best buy in the thing. It was uh, $20 off. So I, I figured it was $9.99. And I said, I'm buying this. And I hit buy and it said $10 credit free. Hmm. So uh, I, I got them for free. Interesting. And so this I, is be- the... Because the why the wise band that you got the wise band exactly exactly so uh, I've been wearing it for a couple of days now and I'll do a little uh, make it one of my gadgets next week, I mean it, it it's astounding what twenty nine dollars can buy I know I know uh, and I really it's like the sky's the limit it feels like um, and sometimes you look at other products and you go why aren't you cheaper <laughs> oh uh, I know I was so looking much? at some uh, someone was saying. Boy, the new Galaxy uh, so it is astoundingly beautiful, but it's thirteen hundred dollars. <laughs> well, the iPhones were just announced too. Yeah, and those start the oh maybe the Max. maybe it was the iPhone. It was yeah. twelve hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah, the 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 Max starts at ten ninety nine, I think, and but almost no one's going to get that model. You're going to get the one with the slightly upgraded, you know space or the one that has you know whatever so um yeah no i don't want to first of all i don't want to drop it in the river i mean (laughs) that's why i buy kind of medium priced phones around (laughs) three to four hundred dollars so in case you drop it in the river or break it you're not heartbroken yeah Uh, exactly yeah um well fall is here I, I decorated for fall. Oh, I yeah, was, I was just going to say, what are you doing for, for Halloween this year? Showing you. So uh, I have no idea if we're going to get um, trick-or-treaters or not. I haven't really seen anything. Yeah, um, here in the city they're saying uh, some communities in Jersey have barred it. Yeah. And in the city they've, they've not made any declaration yet. Interesting. So being in Texas... In Dallas, I don't know what is gonna roll down the line. Um, I'm gonna hold off on buying candy or anything at the moment. But I did decorate, and uh, it's fall, so here I have a photo of the fall decorations. Wow! Got some, got some mums and some pumpkins at a local place. Charlie's all there, and a cool little wreath. And that's oh, the that's... Um, the eco uh, the Eufy Smart Lock, which I reviewed. Little, oh little yeah, while ago. yeah. Oh, that's great. That's great. There you go. There that you looks go. very nice. Thank you. So this Thank year you. you're going to use all the stuff from this month's theme. I think so. I think so. What's funny is in today's video. You know, we have a new crappy corner. I hadn't decorated yet, so you'll you'll notice the old bare front of the house. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So yeah. So uh, those are, the thing in today's video are definitely going to last through Halloween. Um, and, and uh, you know, we have the spider, so I'll probably put the spider up. Oh, oh that's great. Totally. That's great. I probably won't put it over. I'll probably put it off to the side, so it's not going to actually fall on anybody because that would just be mean. But uh, yeah, and also might... they probably grab it and run. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think that's it for updates. Okay. Uh, well, we can jump in with, uh, so the National Hardware Show was canceled in Vegas, and they did a virtual uh, hardware show, which is, uh, it was kind of messy. Um, I was there three days in a row, and when you clicked on new products exhibit, it says coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was it. So today was the closing day. I didn't even bother going because, I mean, it's ridiculous. New products is what everybody wants, to, at least the press wants to see. All right. Um, I went to uh, a lot of meetings. Uh, w- what What is bad about the way they did the National Hardware Show uh, web is when you get emails from Pepcom that we always go to, 
the, the day of the show, the day before, they send a list of all of the exhibitors and there are at least one or two sentences of what the company does. Right. Be- because a lot of companies you don't know from the name. And that way you can gauge, you know, if it says more well, Bluetooth speakers, we know we're not going to do those. Um, they didn't do that in the hardware show. And so you would find a name like Mega Ginormous Techs, a tech. <laughs> and I went to one of these and I had a two minute video. It starts out with thunderous music, our building. Okay. Our reception room. We see that our awards. We see a wall of awards. We're too far away to see what they are. Our loading dock, <laughs> getting new supplies. Our in. employees. And see where this our, is going. Our work line. You see everybody <laughs> at these benches. Okay? Our landscaping. <laughs> then it says our packing department. I don't know what they're making. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> so we're a minute and 50 minute, uh, uh, a minute and 50 seconds in, in the packing department, we see something going into a box. And finally, at the bottom of the screen, it says a new electric water heater is safely packed. And then the video ends. And I'm thinking, who talked them into this video? <laughs> you would think <laughs> rookie would say, mistake. The, rookie mistake. The water, yes. The water heaters are great because they do this and they were unlike the competition right. before who cost what Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like they hired a videographer who didn't know how to shoot a a water yeah. heater, and, and they so were they were probably thrilled. Got an like, office. Oh, look! Look at how look at oh the building looks. Ooh, this great. is yeah. The, the look reception at the... area look, at, and yeah. it didn't dawn on them that they're trying to sell something. Anyway, I I, I sat through a, a bunch of presentations of new products, and I found one from this guy called John Hoback, who, who was doing it live from Alaska, and this is his product, and his product actually. Hi, is on Amazon. So he really did his homework. So take, take a look at what this is. Hi, I am John from riserhammerhelper.com and I'm here to demonstrate to you today how to solve a very frustrating problem. And that problem is pulling these nails right here. Pulling them will take between 50 pounds to 150 plus pounds in sheer muscle power to pull those out with a standard hammer. But with the riser hammer helper, that reduces what the pulling power that you need to pull those nails by nearly half. I'll give you a quick demonstration here. Here's without the riser. We'll pull this nail out first. Imagine it in black and white. Yes. With the riser hammer helper. That's amazing. Nearly half the pull it took to pull that nail. Now we'll try it with a framing nail. With a squeaky nail, a Halloween nail. <laughs> Spooky nail. With a framing nail, with the riser hammer help. Oh my gosh. Oh, it still that makes works noise. great. Let me show you a little bit about this. On here is a stainless steel harness, which helps for safety and positioning on the end of the hammer. We have two industrial magnets that help grip onto the end of the hammer. We have another magnet here that attracts nails as they're pulled out. And then we have another magnet here on this end, which we call the nail launcher. Have you ever tried pulling, pounding in these small roofing nails or Tico nails or maybe a picture frame nail? Let me tell you something. If you hold that nail here and you go to set that nail, somebody is gonna get hurt. The answer to that problem is the nail launcher. You take that small nail, you put it right in the nail launcher there, you position it exactly where you want it, and one tap, and the nail set exactly where you want it. One more tap, and it is driven in. I also want to tell you about the fact that the riser hammer helper is not all work and no play. It's, uh, at the end of the day, you want a beverage, voila. And it's a bottle opener, too. Smarter, not harder. <laughs> After a job well done. Done. It was kind of interesting. Uh, I like it. And also... It's interesting because the uh, before you're allowed to show your product, the people who um, are helping people, th- this guy is much further along in, in getting something uh, in, in, a, in the stores. You know, you have to have 
the the licensing from every state if you're going to export it has to you have to have all the paperwork for what state you want this guy has a very very long website instead oh, wow. of having boxes that you click on um but i think it's an interesting idea i think it's 17 dollars it, it's something i wish i had today i could use it like five times a year right exactly exactly today i was trying to pry up a window that is been locked for years and I couldn't get enough. And, and I was saying to Dennis, I need a piece of wood to wedge under this hammer. Totally. totally. So I, I can pry it up. Uh, something that he mentioned is that he has some prototypes made now out of uh, some sort of resin and that he should be able to have like a low, a lower priced, one oh, of these yeah. uh, on the market maybe next year. But I, I thought it was kind of interesting. Yeah, I think it's really good. He definitely, uh, yeah, has taken very good advantage of the one pager here. <laughs> yes, um, yes. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I think that's really cool. And I also like that. You know, I, I think it's great that like anybody can invent something. And also what I liked about this is it was something different because right. there were so many people, like someone came with a new plunger <laughs> and, and, and as one of the people reviewing the thing said, you know, you are entering one of the most crowded markets. Oh yeah. You know, and, and, and it was the same thing when you used to go to the show. Yeah. Well, someone well I had a great idea for a Bluetooth speaker. Actually, so I was thinking that that might be fresh. Well, wait a minute. And new. A Bluetooth plunger. A Bluetooth plunger. plunger. No one's doing that. There you go. Wow. Wow. With <laughs> the Ryzen nail puller on the handle. <laughs> and a bottle opener. And a bottle opener. It's perfect. Got flushing problems? Put it in this way. <laughs> Want to pull a nail out? Put it in that way. Don't get it mixed up. Anyway, and That's I'm fun. working on getting some video of one other product. But it's kind of sad because normally if I would go to the uh, hardware show, you'd come back with nine or ten videos. Uh, but anyway, yeah. this coming week there are... I think you have to do a lot more digging with a virtual show where... Yeah. In another one, you can walk through and you glance. No, nah, that's not a product for us. Glance, absolutely. not a product. For a us. Absolutely. When, when I went to the first virtual thing, I'm thinking, oh, this is this is making my life so easy. And now by the fourth one, I'm thinking, oh, God, yeah. this is going to be eight hours to <laughs> yeah. find two products. Anyway. Uh, all right, so Gadget 2 is, you know who Johnny Jet is, right, Chad? Yeah, the travel guy from... The travel the right, guy, right. So Johnny Jed, I follow him on Leo. I follow him on the website. So he said, uh, I, this is something you should be adding to your health travel kit. The Oxamida, hmm. which takes your pulse and your level of oxygen. This is how it works. I did a little video on it. It's... Oops, er, 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 that one. All right, so you know how viewers write in and say, I saw you do something and I bought it. Well, I do the same thing. So I'm watching, actually reading a Johnny Jet column. You know, Johnny Jet's uh, on with Leo every week, uh, the world traveler. And he says, I just added an oximeter to my health kit. And I thought, I don't even know what that is. But I went online and I saw it. I thought, oh, I like that. Acumed, it's a fingertip pulse oximeter. And it not only does pulse, it does your, um, the ratio of air in your blood, something, oxygen, whatever it is, you need it. All right. <laughs> uh, so just to show you that, how much, heart and soul I put into this. Normally my resting uh, pulse rate is 60. But since you're watching me do this, uh, it's probably going to be much higher. Okay, it's really neat. A little digital thing. It takes Ooh. about 10 seconds and 
All right, so instead of 60, my pulse rate is 74. Now, let me see if I can find a better thing. Oh, it measures the level of oxygen in the blood, all right? Measures the oxygen in the blood. And online, it says normal is anywhere between 95 and 100%. Oh, my gosh. I'm just eking by there. <laughs> oh, it's 96, and my pulse is going up even more as we Breathe. speak. Breathe! <laughs> um, anyway, I like this a lot because... I sometimes do deep breathing and see if I can get how low I can get my uh, pulse rate. Uh, about the best I've been doing lately is 58, all right? I think it's because of the, the times we live in, but uh, I, I just like it. And it, it changes if you hold it up like that. You're not supposed to. You're, you're, your finger should be resting, but I believe the one time I did it, it actually went into the uh, portrait mode. Let's see if it's going to do portrait mode now, standing up like this. It's, oh yeah, see, it, it went to portrait mode. 93, I'm still good. And 73, because I'm holding in the air and I should be resting. It's relatively inexpensive, okay? Um, 33 bucks. Wow, 740 ratings. And it got, let's see, Oh, for some reason, I can't get the amount of stars. Oh, there it is. 4.6 out of 5 stars. Comes with a little carry case. Comes with a little lanyard. And um, if you want to know how much oxygen is in your blood, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Bye. He didn't have enough oxygen to say goodbye. Oh, no. No, I didn't. I was out of oxygen. So it's running now. It's blowing out a little, so it's 96, and my pulse is 68. So the oxygen in, in the blood is 98, and my pulse rate is 69. But what's neat about this is you can, while you're doing deep breathing, you can leave it on your finger, and it's constant measuring. That's awesome. So the, uh, those little things where you, the air pulls up and you wait a minute, it gives you your pulse for that minute. But with this one, uh, you can leave it on if you are doing some sort of exercise and you want to keep track of uh, your pulse rate. And 30 bucks is auto off. Once your finger comes out, it takes like 30 seconds to shut off. And as I, as I said, it comes with a little carry case and it's 33 bucks. I also, if you look down below, I just picked, I, I just bought the one because Johnny Jet said it, but it seems like there are a ton of them. Yeah. Seventeen dollars, um, even. Yeah, but I figured, yeah, if he likes his, maybe it works better. It but does. You, they, the chat room may correct me here, but I think that the new Apple Watch does blood oxygen level. I oh, think. that's good. Um, but I loved. I love this. When I I remember, uh, uh, I had a I passed out in an airport and the EMS people there did the that exact same thing. They just clamped one right on my finger. And I remember looking at it and being like, hmm, that's kind of cool. That was kind of fast. And I just assumed it was like a $500 piece of gadgetry. Yes. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, well, if a doctor if a doctor does it, it is a $500. <laughs> yes, exactly. Just for that rental, you know, not even to own it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So that's so cool that you could have something like that. Um, just at home, like uh, feeling a little sick, feeling a little down. I'll just check your blood oxygen level. Yeah. So Bleak is saying, I would say not as accurately as this. Probably, probably. But it does. This is a medical grade thing. Oh, oh so yeah. he's saying the watch does it. Right. But probably not right. as much as. Uh, and I've seen the the little. If you've ever you know been in a hospital and someone has that little red light over their finger. That's exactly what's going on here. It just doesn't have the screen on it and has the screen right. somewhere else. Uh, so yeah, taking that, blood oxygen from your finger has been a uh, uh, a long time thing. So this yeah. is really neat. I added it to my cart on Amazon. So oh, did you? Oh, okay. Get okay, yeah. Acumed. All right. And now my third gadget is a little bit in your theme. Ooh. So let's take a look. 
It's time for another What the Heck Is It? This is kind of really hard. What is that? <laughs> Spooky jelly beans. <laughs> I know what it is. You know what it is? What? It's fossilized raspberry jello. <laughs> fossilized raspberry jello. You got oh it. God. First try. Right out he got. <laughs> it's electric fossilized jello. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is something new from Home Depot. And uh, the official name is the six foot lighted ultra ultra wire icon 18 LED light strip. Okay, so boy, the ultra wire is thin. Wow. You know when I when I crunch it in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> so that Dennis wouldn't see that. It was a string of lights. I got this really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to light it. And then we'll take a break and I'll untangle it. Also, this is different. Okay, they're battery operated. So there's off. There's timer on. It's a six hour timer. So it's timer on steady. And then it's timer on. Ooh. Wow. strobe and it says indoors only and I don't know if you can see I, uh, now, that, now that a few of them are unstrung they are bats alright so <laughs> I assume this is probably a Halloween oh. kind of thing but they the when they say icon they're making a lot of different versions of this okay so we'll take a break Dennis and I will untangle this. We'll, next time we come back, it'll be in the dark room. <laughs> All right, so this is sort of what they look like in the dark, okay? And then I'll take them out in the light and show you why I say sort of. So to my eye, the, the lights almost seem a little too bright that you can't see it's a bat, The but one we'll see, all the uh, way in the back on the left we'll looks like a video bat. Back, okay? And that's what they look like blinking. And let me put them back on to steady. Where's that little switch here in the dark? So that's what they look like steady. You're looking through the camera, Dennis. They look like bats? No. No, yeah. I think that I think the, the light is too bright. I mean, if it was a close-up, maybe, but... Uh, we'll come closer. But it looks very pretty. Closer. Oh, that's right. I, I'm moving him gently because I think there's a uh, an AC cord. They're battery operated. We're going to go back to the demo desk and I'll tell you what happened. Okay, so we could not get them untangled, okay? Uh, and to be honest, I, I guess they're new oh, because no. they did not come in any packaging, all right? They just came uh, crumpled up in tissue paper. And then I made it worse when I showed them to Dennis, I crumpled them more, so it looked like a big bowl. And that ultra wire, I, I just can't get them untangled. We have doing this, let me look at the clock, 45 minutes oh. we spent. No. So I assume when you buy them in the marketplace, they'll be on a cart or something, and they won't be tangled like this. Uh, I think they're called LED micro dots, okay? They are micro dots, and there are 18 of them, and they come with the little battery power. You supply the batteries, but the timer is built into this uh, little remote control unit over here. That's what that looks like, and that's what the back of it looks like. And also, I'll just show you some new ornaments coming from Home Depot. These were also uh, packed just in tissue paper. All right, some of them pretty neat. They're very pretty. Very, very pretty. That's very pretty. This almost, this almost looks like bats flying. It does. It doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so these are holiday items. And these, <clears throat> they're on the, the, we have the microwire on the website shows little Santa Clauses, but no price, all right? So I don't know what the price would be. My guess is, probably around 15 bucks all right uh that's it something new from home depot new christmas ornaments new ultra wire icon lights
Bye. I can wear them. <laughs> no, I can't. They're too twisted. <laughs> Bye. It's just <laughs> nail them to the wall and call it yeah, art. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, I sent you a still photo because I didn't want to – I put everything up. I finally found the end. What it was, the wires were so tight, we couldn't find the end. And also, we thought it was a circle. Oh, but yeah, yeah. when I found the end, it, it only unraveled. took about 15 minutes to get them totally untangled. So Interesting. They, they look better uh, in a line. And then I sent you a link to... Uh, it almost looks like they couldn't get them untangled. <laughs> they gave they up. Just, the photographer was just gave, like, nah. Just said, oh, just... just um, and I don't think that has a price on it, does no, it? No, this doesn't. But no. if you do want to schedule a delivery, uh, it's only eighty dollars. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's some bug or something. I oh, hope. My, yeah. Um, um, anyway, and then there's one more uh, link I sent you. There's another one. It looks very nice. It has Santa Clauses and. Um, I think Christmas, other Christmas things on it. Oh, oh that this is stars. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that's that's only ten bucks. Yeah. Uh, here, let me go look. Here's some. Here's some. These like, there's a uh, some s stockings. This one is a Santa uh, Claus gift, one. It looks like gift reindeer. Boxes. Oh, well, see, they, those are incandescent. I see, I so see. So not all we of them the... are LEDs. Yeah. These, these look like LEDs. Anyway, it's an interesting idea to have these little micro LEDs uh, in a line. And so next time you're in Home Depot, walk around <laughs> and you can see them in person. And you'll you'll know how much. It looks like <laughs> they start at about $9. And I, I think the cheap ones just light up. And the more expensive ones have built-in timers. And, and one of them said that the Santa Claus, uh, the, the Christmas theme one, can blink, fade in and out, and do other things. So that's probably more like nineteen ninety-nine or something. But anyway, fun stuff from Home Depot. Perfect. With that, let's move on to... It's, yes, Chad. No, you don't need it. But you might want it. <laughs> Crappy corner. Get it. Uh, the spooky corner. Uh, so this doesn't look like much, but uh, I made a video explaining the whole gadget. So let's check that out. Hey, Diggy D. So here we are back with another spooky gadget. And <laughs> this gadget... Doesn't, it doesn't look like much of a gadget, but let me explain. So my home has these lights that are installed called up lights. They are just attached to the side of the home and they will turn on at night to create an ambiance on the side of the wall to the house. Now with Halloween coming up, I thought, well, why don't we add a little bit of spookiness to the lights? So I thought back to my days in theater when we used to add what are called gels in front of the, uh, the lights. And so I got these so that I could change my lights to a spooky color. And we're gonna choose spooky purple to add to the lights. Now these are way thicker than the gels that I used to use in theater. So we'll see how they work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just come down here to the up light. We're gonna screw off the top, so I'll set this down. Screw off the top, there's a lot of dead bugs on there. Pull that off and then pull off the glass part to this. And I'll use this to trace onto the gel. So come over here with me. Okay, so I'm taking this glass piece and I'm putting it down here. And I'm just going to draw around the edge. Get that little bit right there. And now we have a little bit of a template. And I'll take my scissors and cut this out. This gel, as it shipped from Amazon, has a protective coating on both sides, which is kind of nice. And then we'll take this and put it on the outside of the glass. Here's the protective coating on one side removed. 
the protective coating on the other. It's not too difficult to get off compared to some other protective coatings I've had to get off in the past. We're gonna set that right there on the top, take this, put it over hey, that, diggity, so here and then reattach this to Ooh, the yeah. up light. Okie dokie. And there we go. That is all connected on there. And then of course we'll wait for it to be night and we'll do this to all the other lights. Hey diggity. Okay, so now it is nighttime. We are back and uh, we have put in all of the gels. So we're gonna turn off the other lights and then turn on these lights. Ooh. Ooh, oh, they look nice. Now, it's a little bit less impressive if I have on the other lights. So that is probably something I'd, I'd want to keep turned off uh, if I was going for maximum spooky effect or maybe do, to do something else with the porch. So I ended up doing actually two layers of the color gels because the first layer made it look a little too pink and I didn't like how that looked and so this made it a little bit more of a darker purple. It does cut out a little bit more light than I would like. It kind of dims down the lights but um, to be honest it looks really good on video and I think as your eyes get used to it uh, they look pretty cool. $15 on Amazon and uh, back to you guys in the studio. So, uh, some people were mentioning that they might burn up or something like that. And I'm not too worried about that. I've, they've been on for about two days now and I haven't seen any melting. Um, and also, I remember back in the day, those gels that we would use in theater were way thinner than this. And they'd never, I mean, they could melt, but they tended not to, which is, which is good. Um, so here they are on Amazon. What's interesting is they've gone out of stock since I ordered them. Um, but they have really good ratings and there's a whole bunch of other sort of styles of this and they are meant for color correction stuff. Um, so yeah, so this is, um, it's really all of them and you can kind of see how, whoa, <laughs> there's kind of an inappropriate photo in, the, in those, um, reviews, but there you go. That's the color changing gels uh, for my house. And now the next thing is to change the lights um, on the porch and in the uh, sort of like, I forget what they called those lights that are um, like running lights or I think they have a specific name for them. There's like coach lights or something like that. Um, so there we go. Those are my oh, I, I can give you a long-term report on those because oh, I really? bought that kit. Oh, cool. Uh, and I, uh, one of them started to crinkle up, but after, I would say, two years. Okay. Okay. It, and it, it was in, it's in one of those baby spots. And I think it crinkled up because back then... I was use, using halogen lights. Right. And uh, yours might be a halogen Mine light. Mine are definitely those... halogen. Because halogen. you can't really okay. buy like a colored halogen bulb. Yeah, you, right. You have so to... now yeah. I use them in LED lights. And of course, they'll, they won't burn because the LED light's putting out like four watts. But uh, you know what? One of them I thought crinkled up real early. And I bet I, I, I didn't take the uh, protective coating oh. off. So okay. that's why I think one of mine crinkled up. And also it's it's good, I think, that I'm not going to be using it for a long time. You know, it's going to be just for the Halloween season. Right. So yeah. I'm hoping that it doesn't <laughs> melt. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you're going to have a, a big problem with that. I think they were made for photographic lights, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's what, and, I mean, and those, I remember in theater the lighting fixtures you would use were just absurdly hot. I mean, you would yeah. have to wait 30 minutes after turning them off to even get around to touching them. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was, I'm not too worried about, about right. that. And I forgot, they were $20, $18? So I got mine for 15 oh, and okay. there's, I mean, it's kind of like what you want, basically, because, you know, you can see these suggested items. Here's one for 10 with a, a few less colors. Uh, mine comes with two colors of each sheet, which is kind of nice. Oh, um, that, that is nice. So that you could, nice. you know, you could pick pick your price point basically, because uh, oh, okay. there's a ton of different styles. 
Actually, with that, actually. let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh. Our email is from Joe Harvey, who is a first-time video sender inner, and here's Joe's video, an old-timey gadget. Ooh. All right, Dickie D, this is what I have for your viewer submission. Ooh. It is a real diamond music player. This was made to run on Windows 98. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it on eBay to run on Windows XP. Wow. And it would not. I had to oh. <laughs> uh, do some really creative software to get this to work. So, I made a music disc. Here we go. Ta-da! Oh, wow. my God. This is a 64 megabyte uh, disc. It's the only one I made, and because it was such a hassle to convert the music into this format. So, I only made one. Turn the power on here. Still, oh my gosh, it still here. works! They don't make them like they used to. Alright. Mm. Um, usually you would run it with a headset. <clears throat> Let's plug in the speakers. Oh! See if we can get some audio out of this. Uh... Wow! <laughs> Pretty <laughs> decent. Sounds good! Alright, so... We don't upset YouTube too much. We'll stop it there. Um, you <laughs> Thank can you. Uh, go through your songs. There's a wheel here on the side. You can flip through your volume. You can push it. You can do backlight. Uh, you can do repeat. So all sorts of good stuff. Scroll through all your music albums. My wife was really into uh, country music at the time. So I loaded this up for her, and after all these years, uh, at least 15 years, I put a battery in it today, and it just takes oh, a double A battery. Good old double A. Bing, bang, boom, turn it on. I can <laughs> listen to those songs over and over and over again, anywhere I want, as long as I have this device to play it on. So it has a neat little carrying case. Uh, I can tell you, uh, my wife, after her uh, surgery, she had heart bypass, walked a lot of miles with this. So, it's a good toy. Uh, I don't know what to do with it. It just keeps working. I don't have the heart <laughs> to throw it out. So, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye bye the perfect <laughs> the perfect warehouse type of gadget that, that was that. great and uh, he said it took <clears throat> it took him 2 hours to assemble that one music disc oh man because it converts way he had to get something to convert wave files to the rio's own uh, <laughs> format ooh, ooh. yeah i know nasty I know. Uh, anyway, Joe, that was great. We the, Those are the kind of videos we like a lot. When you find something really, really old and that it still works is great. Uh, so, Joe, I will send you the current issue of Mad Magazine, the Halloween-y kind of scary issue. And uh, if you have a video, if you have a video, if you want to make a video, uh, any kind of gadget, two to three minutes like Joe did. I think his, his uh, video was three minutes. Uh, anything about a gadget, old gadget, new gadget, gadget you hate, gadget you bought and love, just make a video, put it up on YouTube, 
click on listed if you only want us to see it and send us the link to your video. And that goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S., you get an autograph mad. If you live outside the U.S., I'll autograph one of those 38-year-old Alfred E. Newman pictures and send you a high-res image to print out uh, wherever you are. And people say they look great when you hang them up. Uh, that's it. Mail at gizwiz.tv. With that, let's move on to the letter. Now, so the letter is from Mo, our most loyal and frequent contributor. And it's kind of shocking. When, when you see it, you'll, you'll understand why. He said, hey, guys, I saw the show last week, and I wanted to share this with you. Our show last week included me talking about webcam covers for privacy so that a scammer couldn't turn your webcam on when you didn't know about it and look through your webcam. So he sent a link to this article and just just read the headline covering up covering your camera could damage your laptop says apple apple so we'll just go to the first sentence of the or the uh huh. it, it, consumers could, should rely on the green light huh. putting a sticker a post-it note those are thin or another covering in front of the camera itself impedes the tightly designed computer's ability to close and could shatter the screen. <laughs> is, okay. is this possible? I, no, no. I, maybe well, if I you had well, the device you showed off earlier that was slightly thicker. But yes, that no was a big yeah, uh, way. If it was uh, that uh, sensitive, if you got dust in between your screen, it would break. Like there's... I think that they are writing, Apple is covering their bases and writing to the lowest common denominator to just say, don't put anything on your computer oh, screen okay. and close it. I yeah. think. Okay. I thought maybe there was an, I, I don't know. It just seems one Mac Pro owner broke after he applied a webcam cover in April, Mac rumors reported. I mean, I uh, could see a thicker webcam cover, but a post-it note. No, a yeah, that's ridiculous. So note. Even those little slide hinge things are Those were so thin. thin. Those were thin. very thin. Now, I mean, I, I would say that in general, I would feel like a la an Apple laptop does close a little tighter than other computers. Especially like I'm thinking of like a, a ThinkPad or something like that. Those tend to have a little bit of a gap, um, especially in the older generations. But still, I think that I I would think here they are covering their their behinds just to make oh, okay. sure that they never they say don't put anything over the camera, um, because there's no yeah, okay. way a post-it note would cause... <laughs> a post-it note. I know. I know. This is the thing you were talking about. But this is right. only for uh, right. Logitech external cameras. So you and you, you had the... even showed a, a itty-bitty one that looked like a, like a Tic Tac. It was like... Yes. It almost looks like uh, when you pop a can of soda, that aluminum yeah. thing, and it has a little slide door on it. I put them somewhere. They're, they're, they're so tiny. They're on my desk. I can't find them. So... <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, these, and my these little guys. Chromebook closes. Oh, they, that's what I'm. Yes, exactly. exactly. Did they have eyeballs on them when we covered them? <laughs> uh, no, that there's ever everybody's oh, is, in that market now. Oh, they see, weren't even on there last week. That's I very see. funny that someone made that. Yeah. So yeah. even something like this, I bet would work. Um, the other thing is, is if if here's the thing that as a consumer is if you attach something even this thin and you close your laptop and it is obvious that the screen is resting on the webcam cover that is that is like prime a spot for it to get squished too much especially if it's in a backpack or something like that oh, oh and that okay. could damage your screen so if you if you attach something like this and it is obvious that there is space on either side and it is resting on the cover 
um, then you should probably remove it and go to a post-it uh, note because I don't think a post-it yeah. note will. No, I don't think a post-it note, no. no or a no. piece of toilet paper. <laughs> Just don't glue something on because you, you'll end up getting glue on your lens and then you're... Right, that is something you want to worry about residue. But see, exactly. that's another reason why I suggest a post-it note is because that glue is so forgiving and so soft you know it, even if you if even if all the glue was to stick on there you could take some so a little bit of alcohol yeah, that or is e that is easy Windex. to do yeah you know that 3m story about they were working on a new glue and mm -hmm. and this thing it, nothing would stick to it and it would just the thing they would stick it on something it would fall off and someone said wait a minute we don't have to throw that formula away that's a wait a minute put it on this piece of paper and put it up there <laughs> Oh, look at when we take it off. There's no, no residue. So they suddenly, they suddenly <laughs> had a new product. <laughs> That's so hilarious. a failed glue, a failed weak glue became a new product for them. I mean, it's true. That's great. Cat yeah, says, yeah, what about yeah. a postage stamp? <laughs> I, I think that that would stick a little bit better than a yeah, postage stamp. No. You don't want to lose 50 cents every time you mail something. Right. Now, I feel like... Uh, I don't think so. it'll. I you know that would be a great product for Post It to make, the webcam what? cover. <laughs> oh, you're right. Make that. It's a little strip, a tiny strip. Make it in black, because every every laptop screen is black right there. Yeah. That's a brilliant. That's a. We need to patent well, we this. Uh, we need a patent lawyer. It. We should have. Yeah, you shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. We could have bought a pair of Post Its and said. I know. Gives with special black <sighs> Dang it. with a secret adhesive that sticks when you want it to and comes off as easily when you don't want it to. As easy Just $5. as five dollars. Post it. Post it. It's not a post it, but a post it. Anyway. It's perfect. Uh thank you so much, Mo, for that letter. Hey, thank you to our patrons. You guys are incredible, thank you. Seriously, if you guys support the Gizwiz, this is the moment that I wanna say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, you guys are incredible for supporting the Gizwiz. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. If you like the Gizwiz and wanna give back, patreon.com slash gizwiz is the place that you can give back to the show. If you wanna find that link, head on over to gizwiz.tv. There, you can click on Ooh. the page and give back Ooh. to the show. <laughs> if you want to f sh me from the past, uh, you can click on the Patreon tab right there at the top of the website and click on this big old banner there to take you to our Patreon page. Or, if you want to give via PayPal, there's a link right underneath that banner that you can click there. That could be reoccurring or one time. However you want to support the show, we really appreciate it. We really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Speaking of gizwiz.tv, that's where you can watch the show live. Just head to the homepage every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time, and watch the show. Join the chat room, chat along with everybody else. It's a great community. And if you don't want to watch the show live, don't worry about it. We have iTunes feeds, RSS feeds, you can subscribe on YouTube, or you can check out all of the previous episodes on the website. Over 1,800. Oh, and actually, we are also on Amazon New Podcast. We are. I think we're even on Spotify. We're wow. on all sorts of stuff. Stitcher, I think. So you just search for us. And if we're not, we have the RSS feed, so you can just add it yourself. Perfect. Uh, don't forget if about the meetup. If we're not on your favorite service, you tell us. We'll send the boys around. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, don't forget about the meetup, gizwiz.tv, this Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern time, just at the website, gizwiz.tv. Also, head on over to gizwiz.biz. We are, what, three weeks away from getting this Less, gadget? I think. What is today? Today's... Uh, October... The oh, 15? today's 18? No. What? Close. The 15th. Oh, 15. oh yeah. so we have uh, 25... We have 16 days. 16 days. So this is the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget, 
So help me gadget. Uh, and so if you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. Uh, this is obvious, obvious to me that um, this is a way to grip a wine glass stem in case you need to have a hold on your wine glasses. Wow. If uh, you think you know what this is, get a guessin'. Like I said, six Mad Magazines for correct answers but 12 Mad Magazines for funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting answers, so get creative over at gizwiz.biz. This is what you're playing for. Spooky, spooky. And Dickie D will sign it himself, so get a guessin'. I think that about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.